we heard about it. There were rumors, and unfortunately now they are true. Kenny Minchie, 2023 four-star quarterback commitment to Pitt, has just decommitted and has officially opened his recruitment. Welcome to the show, guys. Um, this is a tough one today for Pitt, for sure. Um, Pitt's really their their prized recruit um, in this 2023 cycle. The foundation of this recruiting class, um, the quarterback that I think that people were uh, incredibly happy to get, four-star consensus, um, elite 11 standout, uh, tremendous arm, uh, has the physical tools, footwork, being able to read defenses, um, and, and basically the, the basics of what you need to where you get to the college level and then you really develop. Um, Kenny Minchie has decommitted. And this is tough for Pitt. This is really tough because now you're in the middle of November. Um, you don't have a quarterback. Uh, more than likely, uh, I don't think they add a quarterback because you just you don't add a quarterback at this stage of the game where just to fill a spot to say um, we'll get into that in a minute and what I think Pitt does. But um, Kenny Minchie, in, in my opinion, was a really big recruit for Pitt. Um, I think you know, obviously, Kenny Pickett when he came in a three star had decommitted from Temple, goes to Pitt. Uh, we heard stories about he almost decommitted and, and almost went to UNC on signing day, but Salem got him the paperwork and ends up going to Pitt. And as you can see, what happens becomes a Heisman finalist and whatnot. Kenny Minchie, in my opinion, was was really going to be a an, an very good prospect for Pitt. Um, like I mentioned, he has the arm talent. He has the, the footwork, the physical attributes that you would want in a quarterback. I think he was going to be a very good prospect. Uh, dependent upon especially development in the system uh, and schematically how he fit. But him decommitting today is a really bad and sour note, especially on Pat Narduzzi, but m more importantly, Frank Signetti. Um, do I think it's the sole reason Frank Signetti, is, is he the sole reason why Kenny Minchie is decommitting? No, there's some other variables that are in there and, if I had to guess right now from everything that I've that I've heard um, from people that I've talked to, just have co having conversations from everything that I've heard today, reached out to some people. If it, the consensus at this point is that his official visit this weekend to um, to Notre Dame, I see him committing to Notre Dame um, again. It's it's not 100 percent sure. It's it's up there pretty positive. I, I noticed here um, get got some people sending me some stuff, um, you know, Tom Loy put out a tweet out a tweet but um in 247 talked about how he believes and he's and he's very happy with uh the potential that they have they're going to get a quarterback and they told people to be patient um more than likely this is what he was talking about uh Kenny Minchie will be on their campus this coming weekend for their for their game um big loss uh, and I think that you know we're are people going to be shocked? I would say no. I think a lot of people were, you know, were trending in this direction. Um, I kind of thought Pitt had kind of gotten over that point where there had been discussions, but then, um, you know, from multiple people, and it wasn't just single one, one single person, but multiple people people had talked about, especially from inside the program, had talked about how he planned on enrolling early. Um, you know, that was the the big theme. He was going to enroll early at Pitt. Um, it, it's just such a major loss because it's not like you're losing a quarterback uh, in your recruiting cycle, let's say in June or July or even August. You're losing this guy in the middle of November right now, and the early signing period is a month away. You know, it's a, it's a huge loss. Um, but on top of that, it's a loss for Pitt. Um, is it the end of the world? No. There's going to be some situations where they can really figure it out, decision-making. There will be conversations between Pat Narduzzi, the staff, Signetti and what to do going forward. Um, but it's it's really a, a slight almost to Frank Signetti in a way because you look at our offense, it has struggled the majority of the season, if not all of the season. You know, this I talked about previously again, you know, the Virginia game um, was probably the, the first real all around game where you could say, okay, hey, 
the offense looked somewhat somewhat good, and there was progress. And I think there was progress, especially with Keaton Slovis. He might have only thrown for, you know fourteen to twenty four for two hundred eight. Um, you would have liked to see more yards for sure. But when you look schematically at really Pitt and Notre Dame, they're really the same scheme. They're they're, they're pro style offenses. They're going to run the football. They're going to they're they're looking to control the line of scrimmage, especially with the. Uh, the recruits, especially on the, the offensive line at Notre Dame, that's what, really what they're known for. They're they're really a factory of putting guys in the NFL. Um, but it's but are there really major differences? I think um, just the lore. Obviously, you know, you're, you're playing in South Bend. Um, that's a big thing. Um, you know, Marcus Freeman up at uh, Notre Dame. I think he's a hell of a recruiter. Um, certainly, probably put a lot of doubt. Um, you know, you got a, a young kid committed to a school. Personally, I thought it was a hard commit until we started really hearing rumors about, I want to say about like a really like a week and a half ago, uh, there was some stuff getting out that was like starting to get serious. Cause you heard stuff, you know, about two months ago, but this about a week and a half ago, things really started to get really heated up. Um, I think that this in general is a big loss. Um, Going forward, this team, you know, one needed Kenny to commit to the to especially to Pitt. But I think that if I'm Pitt and if I'm Pat Narduzzi and I'm Frank Signetti sitting down right now, the the plan should not be. And I know it's not. They're not just going to take a guy to take a guy. But at this point in the cycle, you're not going to find a guy that that's really good enough to to say, hey, we got to take that guy. That's a that's a must take. Kenny Minchie was a must take. Anybody out there really right now, I just don't see is a is a must take at this point. Um, I think that if and anything, it's gonna come down to a number of factors. I think that depending upon what happens with Keaton Slovis after the season, does he transfer? Does he stay here or does he just not play football anymore? More than likely, if I had to guess at this stage of the game, I see Keaton Slovis coming back. He's going to come back a second season and, and certainly play a pick because the NFL is not an option. It's not an option at this point. He would go undrafted. It's not even a question. At this point, if he comes back, I think Pitt takes two quarterbacks in the transfer portal because one, I don't personally, I don't see unless something really changes. I don't know if you know Nick, uh, Nick Patty's going to come back. Um, been a career backup at Pitt. Certainly has the talent. I think he could definitely play in, in certain places in in, uh, in the Power Five. Um, the group of five, there's a number of schools that would certainly take his services and use him. Um, but I see them taking two quarterbacks, one younger quarterback to fill for the spot. They're probably not going to fill this year uh, in the in the high school ranks. And then possibly um, with Nick Patty leaving, bringing in a guy to compete with Keaton Slovis and a guy that can back up. Um, in terms of backing Keaton Slovis up, they might say, hey, you know what? We don't need a guy. We have uh, Nate Yarnell. We'll use him or worst case scenario. If Keaton Slovis leaves, you'll still have Nate Yarnell as long as he's there and then go get another guy to maybe compete. So in the range where you're probably going to see, you know, if I had to guess, if I'm Pitt, I'm taking one, maybe two quarterbacks in the transfer portal. Um, but this is, this is definitely a loss. Um, not an end of the world, not an end of the world loss. The, the, the recruiting class is falling apart. There are some other guys, especially I know you know Lamar Seymour. He went to uh, Auburn for uh, for a visit. Obviously, there's a lot of speculation stuff going on over there. I don't see really them as much of a threat at this point. Um, I know the linebacker out of Virginia, um, Jordan Bass. Uh, I know he's. There's rumors out there that he's still looking. It's not a firm commitment. That could be another thing that we have to take a look at here pretty soon. Hopefully, that stays. I would be shocked because. The linebacker development, especially this year, and the the style of defense that Pitt plays, I think he would be, he would thrive at Pitt. To to, to put it lightly, um, got a lot of traits like uh, like a Servasier Dennis being just he's always around the football, very knowledgeable, um, would fit the schemes very well for a, a Randy Bates, Pat Narduzzi defense, and then Manilak being able to develop him as he's done with Kamara, uh, Solomon DeShields, and then Sh- uh, Shane Simon as well. Um, you have to look at this and say, hey, you know, chalk it up as a loss because um, it certainly is. But they got to regroup. And I think that, you know, there needs to be a conversation about how the season goes 
And if this offense doesn't improve somewhat to the point where if it's not really going to progress to a certain point where it's now becoming known that Pitt's getting better, uh, you know, they have a chance to go back to back games, finish out strong, um, multiple wins. Then you have confidence in Frank Signetti. At this point, I think there needs to be a conversation with uh, Pat Narduzzi and Frank Signetti and figure out, you know, hey, what's our plan here long term? Um, as I sit here today, if I had to say right now, I think that Frank Signetti's back next year. Pitt fans don't want to hear that or probably won't be happy with that, but that's just how Pat Narduzzi is. He's not going to be looking to change coordinators every single year, uh, wants stability, um, but also he's a guy that he wants to wants to run the football. You know, Do I think that's the right thing to do and just not pass consistently? Maybe not, but they need to understand that there has to be a conversation now that you know, the crown jewel of this recruiting class was Kenny Minchie and that guy's no longer here. That guy's no longer committed. Uh, there needs to be a conversation that says, hey, you know, between Pat Narduzzi and Frank Signetti, it says, hey, are, are we are we still on this in the same page? Or are we still in, in, in trying to get into rhythm here? Are we looking at another guy? Um, because I, at this point, it's six and four. Obviously, it's, a, it's, a, it's not a good season. This was a team that should have been competing for uh, an ACC championship game. Uh, competing to win the coastal, you know, North Carolina just clinched it this past weekend. Um, there's going to be a lot of questions, and there was a lot of questions before the sea commitment about Frank C. Deddy um, and the depth that's there. The offense, there's been rumors about how hard it is to learn from Frank C. Deddy's system. That's like, I think that's like a 50 50 sword at this point where we really don't know. Um, I think that it's. It, it, it can go either way on that one. I, I don't. I don't think it's super hard where the team's having a hard time trying to learn it. Um, but there needs to be a conversation, and Pitt needs to figure out what their next step is. Um, at this stage of the game, like I said, I see them going into the portal and getting a guy because you're not going to find a guy uh, in this late. I would say really, you know, mid November. You're really stressing it to the point where. If you take a guy, you got to love him. Quarterbacks, you know, that's not a position that you just you, you, you feel okay about taking. Um, I think uh, the portal is probably the best way to go. It can be used as an asset. Um, I think Narduzzi, besides the Max Brown experiment, I think Keaton Slovis, the jury's still out. But for the majority of the time, I mean, he's done, Pat Narduzzi's done well going out into the portal and getting a quarterback. But you got to go out eventually and get one of these really good quarterbacks like they did with Kenny Minchie, but keep the commitment. I think that there has to be improvement with that. And when you lose a guy like this, you know, you're coming off a good win. You're six and four, you got momentum, but you can tell there's there's portions of this offense where you're not passing enough. You're you're not being elusive enough. You're not being explosive enough. If Pitt gets a 10 yard penalty on a, on a holding call, it's been known that it's going to stop the drive completely. It's going to stop. So you look at it and say, okay, hey, the, the it's not the end of the world, but in terms of a recruit looking at the the team right now, he felt better going to Notre Dame. And don't get me wrong, it's Notre Dame, you know. And again, it's not 100. percent He's going there. It's just rumors that are out there. But you look at those schools and where the, the best development is. You know, it, I, I certainly have some questions about it. Um, you know, I, I think when if he comes into here. You know, you've got a real good shot uh, to compete very early on. Even if Slovis comes back and plays another year, he sits. You know, he, he redshirts his freshman year. You're a redshirt freshman, and being able to go out there and compete with the other quarterbacks that are here. I don't know. Um, there's a lot to you know. There's a lot to really digest in that decision making, and it could be a lot of a lot of actions where um, you know NIL gets involved with this. I wouldn't be shocked by that. You know, for the most part, um, you know, Narduzzi's not a guy that's going to lay out the the money bag for for people and and pay recruits. It's, it's just not going to happen. It's just these guys got to get in the system. They're going to, you know, Narduzzi's going to do it the right way. He's not going to do what the other, these other schools are doing. The USDs of the world, the the Auburns, the Alabamas, things of that nature. So we'll see. Um, but if I'm Pitt, I think at this point, unless there's a guy that you love currently available in the high school ranks. Recruit them, 
But I think in general, you're looking at an opportunity right now just to say, hey, we'll cut our losses, regroup, learn our lesson that, hey, you know, possibly, you know, the offense isn't working out. We've lost a guy because of that. But you go into the portal and you find a guy to really fill that spot, maybe a potential young guy, uh, whether it's a redshirt freshman or a redshirt sophomore. Find those guys that are currently going to be entering the portal because I have news for you. The portal this year is going to be furious. There are going to be a number of people going into the portal from every team across the country, across all aspects of the Power Five and Group of Fives. It's going to be one of those years. From everything I've heard, it's going to be a massive, massive pull to choose from in the portal. We'll see what happens. It'll be interesting to see. Um, but in the terms of how this team is right now, it's tough. It's tough to see the you know the Panthers really lose a good guy. Uh, I think it just high potential. What you wanted in a quarterback, he was it. Um, unfortunately, the 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 decommitment bug has has officially gotten to to pit on this one. But stay tuned. We'll be covering this especially a lot a lot more um, in, in terms of where pick goes from here. And we'll be listening to rumors, things of that nature. Um, but we'll go from there and just hopefully pit regroups um, and just figures out where they want to go from here and creates a plan. So thank you guys for tuning into this one again. Uh, if you're here, thank you again for the support. Uh, please like share, um, subscribe to the channel. Uh, Beyond thankful for all the Pitt fans and all the college football fans in general. Thank you guys for all your support. Um, and please leave a comment down below. Uh, what are your thoughts? What questions do you have? Certainly, we'd love to answer those questions, see those thoughts, see what you guys think. Um, and then we'll go from there. So thank you, guys. Enjoy your Monday night. We got a drop uh, on Monday, but not a good one. But we'll go from there. Enjoy the rest of your night. Thank you all for tuning in. Hail to Pitt.